Good evening and welcome to the Comics Experience Graphic Novel of the Month of the Month Club, the Comics Masterpiece Edition uh, for the month of February 2021. Um, uh, I, I am bringing you this book this month. And, you know, we, if you're watching the other Comic Masterpiece shows, you know we're talking about books like Swamp Thing and Preacher and Sandman, Understanding Comics, Kingdom Come, right? Like, those are all huge massive names in comics um tonight i'm bringing you a book which does not have that same name but i think truly think is in the same pantheon um i i love this comic so much uh it's knights of the dinner table uh and our creative team it's it's mostly done by jolly blackburn um who is in the the top right corner there uh and this is the the knights of the dinner table development team around them uh, uh brian jelke barbara blackburn and david kenzer welcome all to the show thank you thank you thank you yeah. thank you i'm uh i'm really impressed with knights of the dinner table um uh we were just saying the 280th issue is about to be released in stores um 280 issues how many how many periodical comics make it to how many periodical comics make it to 30 issues let alone 280 um, there are 65, 66 books of, of, uh, of Knight's material out there. Um, it's a long running book and it's, and it's really hysterical. Uh, and yet nobody in comics really talks about it at all, which I, I kind of don't understand. I don't understand that. If, if you, if, if, there's a lot of people who, who watch this show, who want to do comics of their own, who, um, who are interested in, in making comics. Um, I, I think this might be a question mostly for Jolly, but uh, if if you were if someone were to come to you and go, I'd like to make comics, but I, I don't know I don't know how to start. Um, what would be the one piece of advice you would give them? Now it can be a craft thing, or it can be sort of an emotional thing, or it can be just an approach to it. Like however you you think that would be the most useful piece of advice. Um, my my biggest advice. I have a story that back in 19, I think it was 93, or 96, I had my best friend, I was going to do Nights at the Dinner Table as a monthly comic, and that's all I talked about for a long time, and um, we went out drinking at the locker bar one night, and um, we came back, and he was real quiet, because I'd been talking about the comic book all night, and he told me, like, hey, I, I think you're a funny guy, and I think the scripts are funny, but this is never going to work like in a million years. You should, you know, not, not, uh, rely on this. Or I think he was trying to tell me I shouldn't go through with it. And I remember thinking about it for a couple of days. I thought, wow, he doesn't believe in this and maybe I shouldn't do it. And in the end I thought, well, I enjoy doing this and I'm going to uh, pursue it no matter what, even if I have 50 readers, that'll be rewarding. And um, I th so I think my advice would be, if you believe in something, you have a passion for it, just just do it, you know, pursue it. Maybe you'll fail, maybe you'll fall on your face. Maybe you won't find the right partners, but um, you know, just just don't give up, you know, if it's something you really have a passion for. Yeah, I love that. I love that answer. That's that's a great answer. Uh, cool. I, I think we're going to end it there. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a reasonable place to end it. I, I really want to thank you guys for taking the time to talk to me and, and sort of walk me through the whole process. I, uh, I, I really want to say, I sincerely believe this is one of the best comics that's being published on a regular basis. Cool. Jolly, I, I am so impressed with the fact that you have been able to do this for 280 issues. I, it, it, <laughs> It's the only comic that I consistently am excited to read every month because I know that the quality is going to be consistent, right? Like, I, you know, I like Batman, I like Spider-Man, but I don't like every issue of Batman, right? You know, but I like every issue of, of Knights of the Dinner Table, which is kind of crazy to say, you know? Um, just how consistent and how long my relationship with you as a reader has been, so. You are great, man. You really are. And, and I, I wish more people in comics recognize that. I, uh, I feel as though, I feel as though you guys deserve an Eisner award. I mean, you, you're one of the, 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 the best guys who making comics today. 
Uh, I, I think just sometimes people look at the art and they go, oh, uh, it's, it's yeah. just art, you know? <laughs> but it's funny and it's got heart and it's about people and it's about relationships and it's, it's a great comic. So sincerely, thank you for making it. Well, th thank you. During during the pandemic, there's not a lot of feedback, and uh, I like to go to cons to get kind of, you know, you kind of get your confidence uh, boosted by interacting with fans. So this has been good. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we feel the same way, Brian. Uh, we're uh, super excited about it and have been for many years. So thanks for that feedback. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Brian. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it was it was fun. We should do it. Yeah. Should do this yeah. again. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, cut, get get me another book that I can do a single book of, and 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 we can do that.